And now we will learn how to print checks from QuickBooks. There are two important points about printing checks that you must know before you can record checks that you intend to print. First, the bank account in QuickBooks will be reduced at the moment you save the check, not at the moment you print the check. So when you record the check, you recorded a transaction, but the check number will be blank on that transaction until the moment you print it. The check number is assigned at the moment the check physically prints. Let's take a look at how this works. Let's record these checks together and see what happens. April 2, Holden paid Staples $1,000 for supplies. He recorded the check in QuickBooks but did not print the check on April 2. That's why there's no check number given. From the main menu, click Banking, Write a Check. Put the date, April 2nd. Put the vendor as Staples. The account that represents the reason why we're paying should be Supplies and the money amount should be a thousand dollars. Push the tab key to save the field. Now we already learned how to record a check in the previous video, but the most important thing here is that when we look on the main tab of the ribbon and we look in the center of the ribbon, the print later command is checked. Because it's checked off, we do not have a field to record the check number at the moment we record the check. We will leave this command selected and checked, which means we know we're going to print this check later and assign the check number later. When we click Save and Close, we notice that supplies did increase by a thousand and cash and bank did decrease by a thousand. When we double click cash and bank and scroll to the bottom, we see that the April 2nd check, let's do this, we can see that this April 2nd check did reduce the bank account by a thousand, but the April 2nd check does not yet have a check number. The April 2nd check will have a check number at the moment that we print it. You might want to pause the video in this position while you record the next two checks. That would save us time. Before I display the next two checks, just make sure that the Select Print Later command is selected to make sure that QuickBooks knows you are printing these two checks later, not at the moment you record the transaction. That's the reason why I am not giving you a check number for these next two checks before you record them. So let's imagine on April 3rd we paid UPS $150 for delivery and let's imagine on April 4th we paid Verizon $80 for a prepaid phone card. Please record these two checks while the video is paused and I will record them myself to save time. After you record those two checks, your balance in the cash and bank account should be 30823 Double-click and look at the very bottom and see if you recorded the checks properly. If you did, it means these last three checks that we just recorded should have no check number at all. That's because when we recorded these checks, we indicated the command print later. Before you physically print the check, you have to take the physical checks from the box and place them in the printer. Whichever check comes first will have a number that you will type into the QuickBooks field so QuickBooks knows the check number of the first check that you're printing. It is very very important that you put the checks in the printer in check number order. This is because QuickBooks will assume that if your first check is check number 200, then QuickBooks will believe the second check that it prints on will be 201, and the third check that it prints on will be 202, and so on. QuickBooks needs to make this assumption to be able to assign the check number 
and put the proper check number in the computer so that the check number in the computer matches the check number on the physical check. We will leave the cash and bank window open at the minute we open the window to print the checks. From the main menu, click File, Print Forms, Checks. The Select Checks to Print window opens up and QuickBooks assumes that these three checks, the three checks where the check mark was indicated at Print Later, which by the way are showing down here with no check number, these are the checks that QuickBooks assumes we are printing. You have to click into the field first check number and type in the first check number on the physical check that goes in the printer. If you put in 200, QuickBooks will assign the number 200 to this one and assign the number 201 to this one and assign the number 202 to this one because QuickBooks assumes that you want these checks printed in order and QuickBooks assumes those are the numbers on the physical checks that are in the printer. When you click OK, QuickBooks gives you a confirmation window to make sure that you're printing with the right style of check. You could order the checks from QuickBooks either in voucher, standard, or wallet style. We will leave the default style voucher and click print. After the checks print, you will get a confirmation window asking you to confirm that these particular check numbers are physically on these specific checks. Let's assume for now that everything is OK and when we click OK we notice that at the bottom of the cash and bank account QuickBooks has now assigned check number 200 to this check on April 2nd. When we double click we can see the number is there. We can also double click check number 201 to make sure that it assigned the correct number and so on. So QuickBooks will assign the number at the moment the check prints and then it will ask you to confirm if the check number it assigned is physically on the same check that printed from the printer. What if some checks printed badly from the printer? Well, you can reopen the check and mark the print later button that will put that check back on the list to be printed later for example let's imagine that check 201 ripped as it came out of the printer so this check to UPS for hundred and fifty dollars must be reprinted and check number 201 must be shredded we double click and all we have to do is click the check mark in the print later command. That will remove the check number and when we click save and close and click yes, we know that this check to UPS has been placed back on the list to be printed later. When we reprint it, we will physically place in the printer check number 203. So from the main menu we click file, print forms, checks, and notice the UPS check that printed badly is back in this window because it's waiting again to be printed. Notice QuickBooks remembered the check number that we left off on and QuickBooks is assuming we're taking physically check number 203 and placing it in the printer to print this UPS check on. When we click OK, we again get the print checks window to confirm the style of checks that's physically placed in the printer. We'll click print and after the checks print we get this confirmation window to be sure everything's printed fine. When we click OK we now notice check number 203 has been given to the April 3rd check to UPS for delivery. What if you don't have a printer and you want to practice this video? Well, that could be a problem. You see, QuickBooks will not give a check number if you don't physically print the check. The way to solve this problem is to fool QuickBooks into believing that the checks were physically printed.
And the way to do that is to print to a file. So if you don't have a printer, the Save As box will open up. When the Save As window opens up, simply put any name and choose any location for the file that QuickBooks needs to save. You can always open or delete that file later, but QuickBooks needs to create that file only because you don't have a printer. Once you save the file, QuickBooks will assume the checks are printed and it will assign the check numbers.